It has been a crazy weather day. We've had thunderstorms. We had some flash flooding yesterday, slightly a bit today. And the meteor, oh, and everybody heard that sonic boom in northern Utah. If you're in the south, you probably missed it. But there was a meteor this morning. So some cool meteor information that you should know. So this meteor was big enough that there could be fragments on the ground, but we just have so much land in Utah. It would be very difficult to find the fragments or pieces of the meteorite. Now, today's meteorite probably could be classified as a fireball technically because it's really bright and when it's brighter than the planet Venus in the sky that's where you classify it as a fireball. Now to classify it as a bolide it would have to be even brighter and look like more of an explosion so I'm not quite sure if it's in between these two classifications probably more comfortable calling it a fireball and of course if you just want to look for some shooting stars tonight if it's not cloudy where you live the person meteor shower is still going on. We had the peak of it the past couple of nights, but there'll still be some shooting stars out there tonight. Really exciting stuff. Ah, outer space and the atmosphere, all of it's just so cool. All right, 88 degrees here in the troposphere. That's the layer that we live in. Did you know that? 88 degrees now, 34% humidity. That's where the weather occurs. Now, sometimes the cumulonimbus clouds can go up so high that they puncture the stratosphere. That's the next layer up. That's just some cool stuff. So you can see all all those cumulonimbus clouds going up now looks like popcorn and underneath that you've got some rain and some thunder and lightning too so zooming into this of course we've got some rain showers now just over just by snow basin in eden and east of there and drifting into the cache valley we've even got some rain showers near park city and this meandering cell on the west side of utah lake that's just been hanging out and of course if you get under one of these it can put down a lot of rain because it's just kind of stalled there rural box elder county seeing some thunderstorms as well we could all use some heavy rain but we don't want it to flood of of course and central Utah getting the scattered rain showers now no warnings currently no flood warnings no severe thunderstorms warning just some run-of-the-mill thunderstorms up oh, we spoke too soon it looks like there's a new warning back in central Utah so we'll get the update on that but we still have the flash flood watch and that is still ongoing for tonight and tomorrow for that flash flood potential now it's 88 degrees here in Salt Lake with the clouds 67 and Alta cooling off as the clouds come in up there 73 in Manti still 94 in Moab and 64 degrees at Bryce Canyon. Our average high for today is 93. We were just a little bit shy of that. Future cast for tomorrow, you can see we do it again. The thunderstorms light up in the afternoon and then it starts to decrease in coverage on Monday. So we'll have another couple of days of the afternoon monsoon and moisture and then it looks like we get a break midweek. 72 degrees tonight, a few scattered thunder showers at least through about 10 o'clock to midnight. Then it should start to really diminish after that. 73 in St. George. George. Tomorrow we do it again. Looks a lot like today. We've got the starting off with a mix of sun and clouds and then the thunderstorms in the afternoon. So southern Utah, you've got your temperatures here in the 90s. And then it gets a little bit drier in the middle part of the week and a little bit warmer. And in northern Utah, we've got temperature around 90 for tomorrow. And then it'll still be a little bit drier and warmer in the middle of the week.